Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. What I am going to do today is show you how to change your perspective on a photograph, especially a building or something like a building, using the crop tool. Now, here's the deal. I was standing here when I took this picture. So I was looking from the side, took my picture, ran over and bought a sausage. It was good. What I want to do is to be standing here instead. That's what I want the picture to seem like. So I'm looking straight in on the booth. I'd still like to be able to go buy a sausage, but they're gone, unfortunately. Well, they'll be back in a few months. Okay, so let's get rid of that layer. Now, what we're, we're going to do is use just the uh, ubiquitous old crop tool, and here it is. So if I want to modify this crop, all I can do is grab one of these handles, move it around, but you see these angles here? They stay 90 degrees. You can't change them at all. All you can do is change the size. It's going to always be a rectangle whether it's square or not. Perfectly square. Uh, if you look up in the option bar on your crop tool, you'll see a little thing called perspective. Put a check mark in there. Now, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. You can change each individual node, if that's what they're called, thing. Okay, so I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, and one over here. So this thing now is no longer a perfect 90 degrees. It's at different angles, so it's going to uh, react a bit differently. Now I'm going to come over so I can get rid of that fresh cut there. We'll go there. So I'm happy with that. Now all I do is hit the check mark to accept the crop, and isn't that amazing? It looks like I'm standing right in the front. Now if you do this with people, or with cars, or with round things, you're going to get some real nasty skewing, which you probably won't like. But, you know, with this, it, it worked out quite nicely. There, I'll bring it back down a bit. With the, with the square thing, it's, it's quite good. So there you go. A really simple, easy, fast technique. That took me just a little over two minutes to do all that. And there's no way I can babble on for the next eight minutes about it. So I'm just going to stop here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Give this a try. Go and grab some photographs where you took a picture of a building from the side, select a part, do a, a perspective crop. You'll be quite amazed and quite proud of yourself, I must add. So there you go. Uh, come visit my site someday, www.the-graphics-tablet.com, and you'll find this one under Crop Tool, where there is a detailed instructions on how to do it if you missed it as I'm going through here. Okay, so I appreciate you watching. Come back and visit again sometime. Bye now.